the time is six o'clock i call on sonia mm -mm. kemi mm -mm. kike mm -mm. esther you don't want to be that kind of girl you don't want to be the person who is just called on at any point in time to netflix and chill you want to be taken seriously all right so if you are here and you are and you want to know my tips just my two cents on how to know if this person is to be taken seriously to know if he is the one keep watching this video welcome back to my channel my name is Timmy Banjo I'm a makeup artist a beauty enthusiast and a content creator in Lagos Nigeria today's video is titled how to know if he is the one you don't want to be that girl they call to Netflix and chill mm -mm. nah you want to be taken seriously and how do you know if he is the one anyways I bring to you my two sets and I'm not saying these are the rules you should play by or these are the things you should adhere to. I am not a therapist. I am not a relationship advisor. This is just my two cents and my own take. Please don't come for me. I beg of you. Anyways, I hope you have fun. Enjoy this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because I know you are going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy this video. So if you are here thinking you are going to be here, oh he's going to be buying you a gift, taking you to a nice expensive restaurant, you know, posting your picture on social media with fine fine captions so that people can be God winning on your on your Instagram. Nah fam, you're not going to be hearing that. You're going to be hearing truth, the real truth. Alright, let's enter into this video. <laughs> So I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk to prime my eyelids. First and foremost, number one and most importantly, this person has to share your views. What do I mean by share your views? It means share your views on topics and opinion. Views that are black and white. And black and white means you're either wrong or right. E.g. I'll give you instances. E.g. when you're talking about internet fraud, aka Yahoo Yahoo and you are like no it's bad fraud is fraud this one that one and this guy is trying to justify them and say no they don't have a means of living and all that skinny cock in the cock just know that <laughs> it's a no-go area it's bad is bad anything that is bad is bad you're either good or bad that's what i mean by black and white okay i'm going to use this pink shade here for my bh palette this one or maybe you are talking about rape and and he's trying to say, oh, it's the girl's fault, or oh, the girl should have done this and done that. We all know what rape is. We all know that by now, everybody knows that rape is caused by rapists. Not what the girl wears or where the girl goes to. Rape is caused by rapists. That should have registered by now. So if you're talking about rape and he's giving a different opinion, fam, on. I'm going to use this um, dark purple here. So that's basically what I mean by a person who shares your views. Make sure he shares your views on sensitive opinion. And if you are wondering, is it compulsory for him to share my views? It is because situations like this are black and white, meaning they are either wrong or right. You don't have to give excuse for the bad person. What you have done is bad and yes, it is bad. So that's what it means. If it's something else that can be debatable and he doesn't share your views, of course, why not? Everybody's different. You don't have to always agree on the same thing. So I'm going to use this wine shade from my MAC palette here. This wine shade here. This one here. I'm going to use my Maybelline concealer and this angle brush to cut my crease. I'm going to use this very bright brown shade from my MAC palette also on my eyelid. I 
I'm going to take some I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and just use it at this corner here just a little bit of black to smoke this corner out like that then I'm going to continue blending with purple shades I'm going to be using these two primers from black sorry I'm going to be using these two primers from Revlon and Fasali so number two peace of mind if you don't understand what peace of mind is by now my dear I don't know what to say to you but the peace of mind I'm talking about this thing doesn't move you your mind is rest assured I'm saying this peace of mind radiates outside people will see you and know no you are enjoying something good so this person has to give you peace of mind it doesn't have to make your heart make you have any hypertension or high blood pressure at what age <laughs> when you are now 16 call when you are 15 call what will now be happening so this person has to give you satisfactory peace of mind if you don't know what peace of mind is by now just google it you see the types of peace of mind and let me know the type you want to choose i can't even i can't even imagine being with somebody that doesn't give me peace of mind like if you know how chilled i am i don't want to say how lazy i am but anything that just anything that just i don't know that stresses me <laughs> I am gone. <laughs> I am gone, gone. I'm using the black opal foundation stick in the shade carob. Number three, hmm. this person has to share or has your best interest at heart. What do I mean? I mean this person, for instance, what I like to do, I like wearing makeup, I like sitting at home, I like cooking. I just like, you know, having a chilled life and all that. And imagine if I'm dating somebody who feels I'm wearing makeup for other men. Hello? Nah, 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 nah. I wear makeup because it makes me feel good. I like how my face looks. And also, I wear makeup to make money. So imagine if somebody opposes all this, my. I don't understand. Or feels that, oh, you don't have to sit at home to make money. You have to get out and you have to yes show that you are working by being what by being a suffering girl <laughs> so this person has to have your best interest at heart at heart if you want to go for your masters or if you want to further your education you want to pursue a career and you tell your partner or you tell your significant other and he is not forthcoming on your views or your interests Japa, Japa. London. <coughs> I don't know if there's a way you can sit down to talk about it with this person or not or try and make him see oh this is what is best for me but if this person wants the best for you he is supposed to see it and see that oh this is what is best for you and if it's that you want to further your your um, career or you have a, a something important you need to do Especially if it's a promotion that requires you to um, start doing things in a certain way, e.g. closing later than you used to close or something, especially for some time, and he sees that, oh, this thing is a great of great interest to me or, and all that, he is going to find a way to adjust. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, especially if you guys aren't married yet, because what's the point of this video in the first place? If your new job or sorry or if your promotion is going to make you stay behind at work for longer because you have to see to many other things I'm trying to say this person should be able to adjust so that your interest am, am I making any sense this person has to have your interest at heart and same thing goes for you you also have to have your be this person's best interest at heart we cannot go into a relationship being a selfish person, alright? I'm using my Zara concealer to highlight my under my eyes and, you know, the regulars. So, number three or number four, um, I don't know. Who is counting? Um, how he communicates or how he passes information to you. You will notice that there are some kind of information that is sensitive that has to be passed on to you in a certain way. For instance, 
if this person um, is trying to talk to you about something very important maybe your final or uh, your finances eg your finances and he's being um commanding or giving you a commanding tone and all that and you're wondering is it your money or my money what's going on that should give you a ding ding a what a ding ding you don't have to be violent you don't have to make your point violently there are many other ways you can pass a message without being violent in the first instance why should you be with somebody that is deceiving you i don't want to believe that you won't know somebody is deceiving you when they are deceiving you because they say love blinds I mean, i'm not blind though i'm going to use my bobby brown foundation stick to contour my face I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder to set my highlighted areas. I'm going to use my LA Girl Powder in shade Cocoa to contour my jawline. Another point is for you to be inspired to be a better person by just looking at his lifestyle i mean the person's life the person's lifestyle a person's lifestyle should motivate you to be better if somebody is doing so well at work in life in their spirituality and everything you should be motivated i mean the bible says iron sharpens iron so your your and evil communication corrupts good manners also so your clique like your circle you notice this is people are saying oh my circle is smaller my circle is this my circle is that it's because it is having an influence on them knowingly or unknowingly you will know your subconscious mind will just pick up some habits and begin to behave like such person there's so much noise coming from my neighbors. I don't understand. So yeah, you need to be inspired. You need to be motivated by this person. This person should be able to motivate you to do more. Imagine if you are dating somebody who is just fine with being okay. How are you going to be motivated? You will be thinking being okay is like the standard. No. You have to strive to do more and this person also should have that mindset you have to be like if this person is hard working or this person goes to the gym you will be motivated to go to the gym also and keep a fit body because you know that oh going to the gym is going to do you good if this person is hard working you're going to also want to work hard put more effort in your work everything you do you want it to be top notch and everything so you should notice the kind of um, vibe in the kind of influence you are getting from this person and also make sure this person is inspiring you and motivating you to be a better person to do more and to up your game I'm going to use my MAC powder in the shade NW50 to set the rest of my face you should notice if a person is always trying to bring up the past trying to spite you with the past or bringing up what you've done wrongly in the past meanwhile it's supposed to be something that is forgotten dead and gone and that person is just making reference to it so that they can spite you or make you feel guilty or the new word in town gaslight <laughs> gaslight you <laughs> i don't know which one is more popular like gaslight and clout <laughs> everywhere clout gaslight clout gaslight <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, let's get back. So you should know if this person is trying to gaslight you. <laughs> okay, let's be serious. You should know if this person is trying to make you feel guilty or they are just trying to get the worst out of the situation by bringing up the past. Knowing that you are going to be emotional about the past, you are going to start acting funny or all that. What is in the past is in the past. It's dead and gone. Let it be gone. So if you are with somebody who constantly 
brings up the past, especially if it's a bad past, a disturbing past, or something you've told him in confidence. That was even more hurting. Something you've told him in confidence. He ain't the one. He ain't the one. All right. I'm going to add some glue to my face with my Anastasia Illuminator in the shade So Hollywood. So my next point is how you feel around him. This one you cannot even you can't you can't even you can't be you can't be in the middle about this. You are either happy or sad. This doesn't have anything to do with the situation around. I just mean when you see this person, how do you feel around him? Just tell us are you confused? There are some people they don't know their places. Are you confused whenever you're around him and you're kind of um scared to bring it up because it's going to cause an argument or something just how you feel your mind cannot deceive you it is right there ask yourself how do you feel when you're around this person are you confused are you happy are you sad are you pitying are you managing how do you feel it's a very honest question a very serious one so you should know how you feel around this person I'm going to intensify my glow with this loose highlight. So, ask yourself how you feel when you're around this person. Somebody once said, if you want to know if somebody likes you or not, you are either sure or confused. And I have never heard truer words than that. So, are you sure or are you confused? Ask yourself. I'm going to use this blush from Bobbi Brown to add some color to my face. You know there are some kind of people that we call them the Netflix and chill people. My dear, if you are with somebody that is a Netflix and chill person and you are trying to wonder your position in that person's face. I send you my warm regards. This is not the kind of um, person I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody who proposes a, commit, a committed relationship to you and you're kind of wondering where is this heading? Where is this going? Are we at the bus stop? Are we at the, you know? <laughs> somebody said on Twitter, um, you think you've gotten to your final bus stop, the person will be like a conductor. So, are you with a conductor? Or are you with the bus driver? As your name. So because my eye has a lot of purple on it, I'm going to be using a purple lip liner. The name has faded away. So I'm going to be using this to line my lips. I'm going to be using my NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Cashmere Milk Shape. Sorry, Cashmere Silk. I'm going to be adding some gloss to my lips from my LA Colors Lip Duo. using my inglot liner to line my eyes and I'm going to be doing a wing liner I'm going to also use the rest of my eyeliner to line my waterline I'm going to use this wine shade for my MAC palette to smudge under my eyes. 
So my last point is going to be if he supports your dreams, your ambition, your goals in life and everything. I mean, you don't want to be with somebody who has a negative idea from what you think or a negative view or point of view from what you think or your dreams, your ambition, your goals. Those are very important to you because you notice that before you even become a person's girlfriend or a person's partner, you yourself, you have your own life to live. And what are those life... Sorry. What are those things you see as important to you? This person has to support them with you. So this is the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lesson. I mean, this is just my own view. I'm not saying this is what is supposed to happen or anything. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a relationship advisor. But this is just my own two cents. Alright? Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please, I beg of you, do me this great favor by subscribing to my youtube channel and become part of my family i love you all thank you so much and see you in my next video Mwah. they don't know what you mean to me what you mean to me i'm going to be using my nyx lingerie